Eustech Inumib is a human monoclonal antibody. It is directed against interleukin-12 and interleukin-23, naturally occurring proteins that regulate the immune system and immune-mediated inflammatory disorders. In two phase 3 trials for moderate to severe psoriasis, the longest greater than 76 weeks, Eustech Inumib was safe and effective. A third phase 3 trial, except, compared the efficacy and safety of Eustech Inumib with Etanercept in the treatment of moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. This trial found a significantly higher clinical response with Eustech Inumib over the 12 week study period compared to high dose Etanercept. Eustech Inumib is approved in Canada, Europe, and the United States to treat moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. It has been tested in phase 2 studies for multiple sclerosis and sarcoidosis, the latter versus golimumab. On September 24, 2013, the FDA approved the use of Eustech Inumab for the treatment of psoriatic arthritis. Development As of January 2007, there were five NIH-listed research studies involving CNTO-1275 on a multinational basis, including three phase 2 and two phase 3 trials. Three studies were focused on patients with psoriasis, one on psoriatic arthritis, and one on multiple sclerosis. On December 4, 2007, a biologic license application with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration was filed by Centica and Janssen Silic International has submitted a marketing authorization application to the European Medicines Agency. On June 17, 2008, the Dermatologic and Ophthalmic Drugs Advisory Committee of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration unanimously recommended the approval of Eustech Inumab for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. The decision by the committee is non-binding and final decisions on approval of the drug are made by the FDA. The FDA approved the drug on September 25, 2009. On November 21, 2008. The European Medicines Agency a Euro unregistered trademark S Committee for Medicinal Products for Human Use adopted a positive opinion for Eustech Inumab for the treatment of moderate to severe plaque psoriasis in adult patients who fail to respond to other systemic therapies. On December 12, 2008 the Canadian Health Authority approved the use of Eustech Inumab for the treatment of chronic moderate to severe plaque psoriasis in adult patients who are candidates for phototherapy or systemic therapy. In September 2008, Centica released result of a study comparing Etanercept and Eustech Inumab. The Etanercept group received subcutaneous injections of the drug twice weekly for 12 weeks while the Eustech Inumab group received two injections, one month apart, of either 90 or 45 mg. At 12 weeks, psoriatic plaques were reduced by at least three quarters in 68 percent of the low-dose Eustech Inumab group and 74 percent of the high-dose group. Both groups fared better than the Etanercept group, 57 percent of whom saw such improvement. Dr. Alan Mentor, chairman of psoriasis research at Baylor Research Institute said of the results, now we have a drug that will be used less frequently. With a significant increase in effectiveness. These results are as good as we've seen in psoriasis. In November 2011, a study conducted at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City by DRS. Kornbluth and Sandborn showed Eustech Inumab's potential for treating severe Crohn's disease. Delivery Patients enrolled in clinical trials of CNTO-1275 are scheduled to receive the drug by subcutaneous injections at doses of either 45 or 90 mg. The dosage and frequency varies by study and application. Generally the initial dosing interval once every three months, after the first two doses are administered four weeks apart. Mechanism of action, CNTO-1275 is designed to interfere with the triggering of the body's inflammatory response through the suppression of certain cytokines. Specifically, CNTO-1275 blocks interleukin IL-12 and IL-23 which help activate certain T-cells. It binds to the P40 subunit of both IL-12 and IL-23 so that they subsequently cannot bind to their receptors. Efficacy, in phase 3 trials in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, 
significantly more subcutaneous eustechian humid 45 or 90 mg recipients than placebo recipients achieved a 75% improvement on the psoriasis area and severity index score at 12 weeks. Health-related quality of life was improved to a significantly greater extent with eustechian humid than with placebo at week 12. A double-blind placebo-controlled randomized dose-ranging phase 2 trial in patients with RRMS found that eustechianumab was not efficacious in reducing the cumulative number of gadolinium-enhancing T1-weighted lesions or the number of clinical or objective relapses. The drug was relatively well tolerated compared to placebo. Adverse effects, according to information provided by Centica, maker of one medication based on eustechianumab. Their version of the drug is associated with several types of serious adverse effects. These include an increased risk of infection, such as by tuberculosis and an increased risk of certain types of cancer. As with some other immunosuppressant drugs like cyclosporin, the brain swelling of posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome is a risk. The pharmaceutical company also reports serious allergic reaction as a possible side effect. More common side effects are upper respiratory infection, headache, and tiredness. Tolerability Clinical trials have shown that subcutaneous eustechianumab was generally well tolerated. Most treatment emergent adverse events were of mild severity. References External links Centica Rauta Biotech Official Site, CNTO 1275 Research Studies Registered with U.S. National Institutes of Health Clinical trial number NCT 0027727 for phase 2 study on multiple sclerosis at clinicaltrials.gov, clinical trial number NCT 0032216 for phase 2 study on psoriasis at clinicaltrials.gov, clinical trial number NCT 0026769 for phase 3 study on psoriasis at clinicaltrials.gov. Clinical trial number NCT 0037437 for phase 3 study on psoriasis at clinicaltrials.gov. Clinical trial number NCT 0027956 for phase 2 study on psoriatic arthritis at clinicaltrials.gov. Sylvester, Bruce. CNTO 1275 shows efficacy for psoriasis, presented at AAD. Doctor's Guide Publishing. Retrieved January 25, 2007.